designed for a variety of military roles, including light attack, intelligence surveillance, and reconnaissance. Creates a tremendous amount of efficiency in having all that in one airplane, and also speed of response. The airplane was designed by Textron to fill a gap in the military fleet. Airplanes like the A4, the A7, the A6 uh, were all retiring and leaving a vacancy in the middle of that operating area. The project was funded completely by Textron. No government dollars used. No one has purchased the airplane yet, but it has amazing economic appeal. Many of the parts used in the Scorpion come from Cessna's Citation jets. The engines and avionics, all the way down to the class on the cargo doors, come from the CJ line. The CJ parts allow the Scorpion to be much more economical to purchase and operate than most military aircraft. The design is all about flexibility. There is about on the order of 80 cubic feet of empty space in the belly airplane for sensors uh, of your choosing. And then uh, what happens a lot is something comes up that needs a kinetic engagement. And rather than having to try and call somebody else over to, to take care of that, we bring uh, six weapon stations that we can actually bring that to the fight ourselves. I recently flew the Scorpion at the Textron headquarters in Wichita, Kansas. Prepping for the flight is what you would expect to fly in a military aircraft like this. In flight, the experience feels, well, much more civilian. Not surprisingly, the Scorpion flies, well, about like a Citation. The straight wing makes for a highly stable sensor platform, especially at slow speeds. The Garmin G3000 cockpit, which has become common on business jets, brings a level of navigation and situational awareness unparalleled in similar military airplanes. The Scorpion is no F-16, but hey, it can dash to a scene at 450 knots and be as high as 41,000 feet and then slow down to loiter at 15,000 feet for more than four hours on its stock fuel load. The answer everyone wants to know is will militaries and other government organizations around the world recognize the value of such an airplane? In the future, will the Scorpion sting the bad guys or the hand that created it? Tom Haynes, AOPA Live.